today's lesson we're going to talk about narrative writing specifically imagery so what is imagery and why is it important well take a minute jot down what do you think imagery means to you you have five seconds So imagery basically is visually descriptive or figurative language in a piece of work. Why is it important? Why do you think imagery is important? Well, unlike movies where you have pictures and sound, when you read a story, it's different. Good writing allows us to imagine those vivid images that would otherwise be in a movie. So, when you've written a piece, ask yourself, can I see what I'm talking about? Or is my writing flat without any vivid description? We need pictures painted for us with our five senses. Um, the five senses you know are hearing, touching, tasting, smelling, and seeing. In a little while, we'll watch a video. In this video, a sister battles with an internal hatred she has brewing for her older sister. The stage is set quite nicely, the images are sharp, almost 3D like, and we can see her, short and round with glasses, dark hair, plain and simple. Take a moment and write down some words you would choose to describe Renee's physical appearance. This would appeal to our sense of sight. 
take a few moments and then write down what you think the house can be described as. Again, this would appeal to sight. Think for a moment of how you would describe the floor or the carpet beneath Renee's feet. The texture of the metal, the texture of the sheets on her bed. Be creative, describe texture and feel. Next, look at the surroundings. How would you describe the room, the house? Take a few moments to scribble down some words to describe the house. Some examples would be a two-story house, neat, floors made of pine wood, oak, mahogany, maple, walnut, anything of that sort. So you would use these words in a sentence, for example, the miniature black monsters bounced onto the cherry wood floors, their biddy eyes popping from their heads. How would you describe sunny take a moment and write down some words to describe her sister sunny note sunny's name some possible answers on how we would describe sunny tall slender fashionable gorgeous lovely amazing lanky how would we describe her hair silky mauve how would we describe the color of the sunflower in her hair? How would we describe her skin? How would we describe the way her eyes are in her head? Deep set? Chocolate? Chocolate brown eyes? Perhaps the most interesting part of the story is the internal angst or emotional anguish that Renee feels. How would you describe that using a simile or metaphor? which is our figurative language. Take a moment and write down a simile or metaphor which describes the height of the internal battle Rene is facing. This is an opportunity for you to use your figurative language as well as visually descriptive words.